Hello everyone, this is Audrey Perkins, and this week I'm going to show you guys how to make chia pudding. So obviously this is not a new food. Um, it's been popularized on social media for years, really. So this week, instead of showing you guys the basic process, I wanted to show you that you could do many different things with chia pudding rather than just treating it like a breakfast cereal. Um, so one aspect of this is changing up the flavor of the cream. And so in a blender, I have about three-fourths a cup of milk, one banana, a heaping tablespoon of peanut butter, and a drizzle of honey. And I'm going to grind that until it's a smooth, uniform liquid, and that is going to be the base of this recipe that flavors the chia pudding. Um, so one key to this recipe is that because chia seeds are seeds, uh, they have their own flavor. They're not 100% neutral tasting. So the key is to use something that has a lot of flavor naturally in the liquid so that it almost overwhelms the flavor of the chia seed and creates its own dessert. Um, so chocolate pudding is a very popular choice in this case, but because I wanted to have some variation, I chose to go with a peanut butter banana route. So once you pour the liquid in, we're going to want to add it slowly into the chia seeds. If you dump it all in one go, um, you'll have a higher likeliness of having lumps. Um, once the chia seeds become wet, uh, they will want to stick together, and because they become gelatinous really quickly, uh, the key is to add the liquid in slowly while stirring constantly. That way everything mixes in equally so that you don't have to worry about anything becoming um, lumpy as I said earlier. So add all your liquid and just stir and what you're going to want to do is stir and then wait five minutes, stir, wait five minutes and then after doing it three times you'll get something that looks like this which looks pretty much like the final product a little bit more liquidy but now it has to sit overnight so cover it with plastic wrap making sure that it has a very clean um, airproof seal you don't want to have any fridge smell interact with your product and once it's done, it'll be very thick. You could dilute it with more liquid if you think that it's a bit too um, gooey. But I liked this thickness, so I just went ahead and served it. And to give this recipe a bit more decadence, I decided to kind of make it replicate tiramisu in a sense. So tiramisu is a traditional Italian dessert, and it is topped with a layer of cocoa powder to prevent the top from drying out. Because chia pudding can be more towards, can lean more towards a health food. I wanted it to be a bit more decadent, to be more reminiscent of a dessert. So I decided to have that same idea of having that cocoa dusting on the top. That way you can have this chocolate layer that kind of develops the flavor of the pudding a bit more. So to do this, you first have to make sure that the top is very even. Otherwise, the cocoa powder will be very lumpy when you, um, when you sprinkle it on top, so make sure that it's pretty flat. You could do it with the back of a spoon. And then once you're done, you're going to use a um, sifter, and you're just going to put in maybe a tablespoon of cocoa powder and just shake it gently over the top, and it should make that nice, even layer. From there, you're done. Enjoy, you guys.